Hello everyone, my name is Neko and welcome to another one of my speed paints. If you're new here, hi, how are you? It's great to meet you. And if you're a returning viewer, hi, how are you? It's great to see you again. I have been waiting for this movie since like 2014 when they first announced that they were going to have a Polynesian princess. And for me, I always love to see different cultures and different ethnicities brought to the big screen, especially in Disney movies because they do it so well. So when I heard that they were coming out with Moana, I was ecstatic. Like, I remember looking at my screen and going, oh my gosh, they're going to do a princess that's set in the Polynesian Islands. That's so cool. And then I found out that they were bumping it up to 2016 and I got even more excited because it was closer. And honestly, this princess means a little bit more to me than it meant to me back then, but I'll get to that later. I want to talk about Moana and no spoilers because I don't want to ruin this movie for anybody, but it is fantastic. Like, it's not groundbreaking in any way, but it is a really good family film. And honestly, I'm so glad that they went and made it. And this hand gave me so much trouble. But, um, yeah. So, Moana is definitely on my top ten. No, not just top, top five Disney princesses. Tiana will always have my heart. But she is a very awesome character. And, oh my gosh, that was a motorcycle. I don't know if my microphone picked that up. But, um, thank you! But, um... Uh, she is amazing, and Maui is amazing because it's The Rock, but still, and just the side characters and the storyline is not the strongest, but it is still pretty decent, and I went to go see it with one of my friends that I've had since, like, forever, and my sister Scribby, and it was so nice to go out and just hang out with friends, especially after... I've had such a stressful month of November, and it's still continuing in December because a teacher's work is never done. <laughs> so December is the worst because not only do you not want to be there, but your students don't want to be there, and you have to find a way to keep their interest and also, you know, keep them calm. So it's a difficult balance in December to actually get what you want and to help your students actually learn something even though they don't want to and sometimes you just have to let them go and let them play and <laughs> just get out their energy but um the reason why Moana is so special to me is well not particular to me but because I am a teacher I do have students that um come from different family backgrounds and have different skin tones and different ways of looking at the world and last year I had a girl who was half Samoan and she looks very Samoan and she was upset because there were no Disney princesses that looked like her or no superheroes or no characters or no one that she could really relate to and it ended up with me actually creating a superhero that was set in Samoa for her that she could kind of look up to and make her own. And when I found out that Moana was coming out in 2016, she was still going to be in my center. So I was really excited and I started telling her about it and she got really excited. And she went to see the movie before I did. And not only that, but she got to go to Disney World around the time that Moana's face character was coming around. And to see this girl who is five years old finally find someone that she could feel comfortable imitating and dressing up as and just finding someone that she could connect to is amazing because I'll never know that feeling of not having a Disney princess that I can relate to and look up to skin tone wise because I am white. But to find someone who finally sat there and said, there's someone that I can relate to, it was an amazing feeling because I know that she has someone that she can look at and say, I am beautiful. I can be a Disney princess too. It's 
an amazing feeling. Like, it's one of the reasons why I teach to see my kids experience the world and to relate to the world and find that they can do anything they set their mind to. And it's one of the pros of actually becoming a teacher. I mean, there's many pros to becoming a teacher and there's many cons, but that's one of my favorite pros. And to wrap up this picture a little bit, because I'm getting to the end, I didn't realize I was rambling for six minutes, but um, I'm really happy with this turned out, how this turned out. Like, as soon as I came back from the movie theater, I decided I was going to draw Moana, even though it was like 10 a.m. Or no, 10 p.m. So I stayed up until 2 in the morning to actually get this out. So it doesn't look bad for a sketch and a line art and a color all in one night. So <laughs> it's actually kind of close to the Disney style. But here's the final picture. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, a comment, tell me what I can prove on. And I hope that I will see you in the next video.